Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be working June 2019 from the Mathematics Paper 2, Question 9. And it says the diagram below shows a circle where A sees a diameter, B and D are two points on the circle and DC is a straight, DCE is a straight line. Angle CAB is 28 degrees and angle DDC is 46 degrees. And what they ask us to do is to first calculate the value of each of the following angles that we're about to do, showing detailed working where necessary, and give a reason to support your answers. So part one asks us to calculate angle DBA. So this angle right here, angle DBA, where this red mark is. So are this angle DBA. So what we know is that from one of the theories from circles or angles properties in a, a angle in a circle is that the angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So now if we're looking back at our diagram, we're looking at this half. this half of the circle. So this is the semicircle in which the angle is in, which is what, what we're trying to find. So it says the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. So therefore, if angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees, which is the angle in a semicircle, then therefore angle DBA, which is the other part right here, which we're trying to find, would then be 90 degrees minus 46 degrees. If this angle is 90 degrees right here, we already know a portion of that 90 degrees, which is 46 degrees. So then it would be 90 minus 46 degrees, and therefore angle DBA is 44 degrees. Part two asks us to find angle DAC. So angle DAC. So this angle right here, angle DAC. So we're going to look at another properties from another property from circle. So on the theorem, the other one says angles at a circumference of a circle standing on the same arc are equal or angles in the same tangent of a circle are equal. So this is the arc which they're standing on or angles in the same tangent are equal. So if we're now looking at it, this is the arc in which these two, so these are the two, the two angles which are standing on that arc. So this one in red and this one in blue. So it says they are equal, which means that if this is 46 degrees, then this right here is also 46 degrees. So therefore angle DAC is 46 degrees and the reasoning is that angles at the circumference of a circle standing on the same arc are equal or angles in the same tangent of a circle are equal so this 46 degrees is equal to this 46 degrees here now they ask us to find angle bce so angle bce there are different ways that you can find it but now if we're looking at another theory from circle, it says that the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. So the exterior angle, which in this case from this example here is E. So what they're saying is angle E is equal to the interior opposite angle. So the interior opposite angle would have been A. So therefore, whatever angle that is at A is equal to the angle here at E. Also, another way that we could have worked it, if we had known angle C, we know that angle on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So we could have done 180 degrees minus um, whatever angle degrees that is at C. So you could have worked it to know what angle is here at C and then subtract that from 180 to get the angle at uh, angle B, C, E. However, since we already know the both angles here, which was 46 degrees, which we worked in part two of the question, 28 degrees, which was given, it means that this total degree here is equal to this angle right here. 
so therefore it would be 46 plus 28 degrees and that will give us 74 degrees so angle bce angle bce is equal to 46 degrees plus 28 degrees which is equal to angle bce which is at 74 degrees when we add them so therefore the, the reason that we'll write is that exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles the exterior angle which is the angle we're trying to find angle bce is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles Part B now says the diagram below shows a quadrilateral P, Q, R, and S, where P, Q, so let's highlight while we're reading. So it is angle P, Q, R, and S, where P and Q are parallel. So P, Q, PQ, which is this right here, and SR are parallel. So those are parallel. And it says SQ, so SQ is eight centimeters, and angle SPQ is a 90 degree angle, and angle SQR is equal to 82 degrees and angle qsr is 30 degrees part one says find the length of ps so find the length of ps which is here so what you're looking at is we're considering angle p q s which is 30 degrees which could be found by saying if this also here is a 90 degrees 90 minus this 30 degrees here would give us 60 degrees here and we know that angle in a triangle adds up to 180 degrees so it will be 180 minus this 90 minus this 60 degrees and that is how we know that the angle here at p q s is 30 degrees that is one way of finding it so angle PQS is 30 degrees. So if angle PQS is 30 degrees, we can then use trigonometry to solve. So therefore, sine 30 degrees, and we know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite would be the, th the opposite to sine 30 to the angle 30 degrees is PS, which is what we're trying to find. So this here would have been the 30 degrees. So what is opposite is this here, which is PS, which is what we're trying to find. And this is the hypotenuse, which is eight centimeter. So therefore, in now trying to find PS, we're now taking the eight from the right hand side. It is multi, it is dividing here. So when it comes across, it will multiply. So what we'll have is sine 30 degrees multiplied by eight is equal to P S. And when you do that, when you put that in your calculator, sine 30 will give us 0 0.5. So it is 0 0.5 multiplied by eight. And that is four centimeters or so length for ps is four centimeters part two now asks us to calculate the length of p q So in calculating the length of PQ, what we're now going to use is cos 30 degrees. So remember that right here, we calculated to be 30 degrees. So the cos would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So what is adjacent to the 30 degrees is the PQ line, and we still have our hypotenuse being eight. 
So what we'll do is cos 30 degrees multiply by 8. And when we do cos 30, what we'll get is 0 0.866. So 0 0.86 this multiply by 8 will give us 6.93 centimeters. And that is our length for PQ. Now we're asked to calculate the area of PQRS, which is a trapezium. So first, what therefore means that we know that the formula for trapezium, which is area is equal to half A plus B multiplied by height, where A and B are the two parallel sides, which would be PQ and S. Are. We found the length of PQ already, so therefore now we need to find the length of SR. So we'll start by, to do that, we'll need the, the angle for SRQ. So therefore angle SRQ, which would be angle in a triangle, we know that adds up to 180 degrees. And since we already know two of the angles, we just need to sum them then subtract it from 180 degrees. So it would be 180 minus in bracket 30 plus 82, which are the two angles which are known. And therefore, when we add those, we'll get 112 degrees. So it will be 180 minus 112, and that will give us 68 degrees. So therefore, angle SRQ is 68 degrees. And that is it right there. So now what we know is that the length of PQ from the previous question is 6.93. So therefore, now calculating the length of SR using sine rule, we know that SR, which is what we're trying to find over the angle that is opposite to it, which would be sine 82 degrees, is equal to 8 which is this right here over the angle which is opposite to it, which is the angle which we just calculated, which is 68 degrees. So it is SR over sine 82 degrees is equal to 8 over sine 68 degrees. In now making SR the subject of this equation, what we'll get is sine 82 multiplied by 8. All of that is divided by sine 68. And when you work that out, you will get SR is equal to 8.544 centimeter. So that sine 82, it was dividing years when it comes across, that is how it will be multiplying. So when you do sine 82, you will get 0 0.9903 and you multiply that by 8 and then you get 7.922 and then you divide by sine 68. And that is how you'll get your final answer of 8.544 centimeters. We also had calculated the length of PS, which would have been the height of the trapezium, which is needed for the formula. And that was four centimeter. If my memory serves me correct, it was in part one of the question. That is uh, where we had found the length of PS using sine 30 degrees. So therefore, we can now find the area of the trapezium which we had stated the formula has been half AB, AB being the parallel sides multiplied by the height. So therefore, half is equal to half A. In this case, which have been PQ is the 6.93. B, which should have been SR, we calculated to be 8.54, multiplied by the height, which is 4 centimeter, which is PS. 
when you do that work in, when you put that in your calculator, you'll get the area of the trapezium, the area of PQRS to be 30.94 centimeters square. And that is the end of our question nine. And we'll see you for question 10.